Hitting a baseball in the big leagues is no easy feat. Now, imagine doing it from both sides of the plate. That's some next-level awesomeness. This is why we can say switch hitters are a rare breed of players who make hitting look like a walk in the park. Of course, you might be thinking, why is being a switch hitter so cool? Well, it's simple. Managers can easily slot them into the lineup without a care in the world. Lefty or righty pitcher? No problem. These guys are ready for anything, anytime. Let's take a look at the five best switch hitters baseball has ever witnessed. Roberto Alomar, a Hall of Famer since 2011, isn't just a legendary second baseman. He's also one of the game's best ever switch hitters. This man was not just your run-of-the-mill second baseman. No, he's one of the switch hitting titans to have ruled baseball, a real maestro of the diamond. Alomar may have waltzed through seven teams during his career, but his heart beat truest for the Toronto Blue Jays. With his switch hitting ability and a glove that shone like a gem, he helped steer the 92 and 93 Blue Jays to double World Series glory. Now, let's talk numbers. And to start with, Alomar's batting average was not just good, it was mind-boggling. A rock-solid 300 for his entire career and an amazing 2,724 hits. Plus, don't let the non-power hitter tag fool you. This baseball legend was a sneaky powerhouse. He knocked 70 homers from the right side and, hear this, a whopping 140 from the left. The man could launch them out of the park from any angle. And about those splits, Alomar wasn't your typical switch hitter with picture-perfect stats from both sides. This is especially when you consider that his average dropped by 46 points when he swung left. But here's the kicker. It didn't matter which side he switched to. No right-handed pitcher ever had a leisurely day against Alomar, not even when he ventured to his so-called weaker side. This man was truly a problem to the pitchers in his time, and we can safely say he deservedly earned the baseball legend tag. In 2012, an unforgettable era reached its final chapter as Chipper Jones, the cornerstone of the Atlanta Braves lineup, bid farewell to the game. No doubt he was the unshakable force behind the Braves' astounding 14 consecutive division championships, spanning from 1991 to 2005. And during his illustrious 19-year career, Chipper Jones wrote his name in the baseball history books with indelible ink. With a remarkable 303 batting average, a rock-solid 401 on-base percentage, a hefty 468 home runs, and an astonishing 2,726 hits, he wasn't just an ordinary player, he was a living legend. He adorned his trophy cabinet with an MVP award, a batting title, and eight appearances in the All-Star Game. But here's where Chipper's tale gets even more captivating. It was in his legendary consistency. Whether he wielded the bat from the left or the right, he delivered the goods. From the left side, he boasted a 303 batting average and a towering 405 on-base percentage. From the right side, it was a 304 batting average and a sturdy 391 on-base percentage. Plus, when it came to power, he had a lefty twist especially when you think about the fact that 361 of his home runs were launched from that side of the plate. This player definitely made his mark in MLB as a legendary switch hitter, and there's no denying the truth that he rightfully deserves a spot on this list. Eddie Murray, who we can only best describe as a one-of-a-kind switch hitter, occupies the number three spot on this list. In his active years, this totally amazing player pulled off an astonishing double feat, which involved smacking 500 home runs and rounding up a stunning 3,000 hits. Now, let's talk about the long game. Murray wasn't a shooting star, he was more than that. This legend blazed his baseball trail for 21 years, and while at it, he donned the uniforms of six different teams, but his heart truly belonged to the Baltimore Orioles. Obviously, Murray was the driving engine propelling the Orioles to American League championships in 1979 and 1983. Murray wasn't the guy who'd launch 50 homers in a single season. No, he had a different playbook. Instead of one Big Bang season, he opted for a consistent all-star performance year after year. He might not have surpassed the 33 homer mark in any season, but hold on to your seats, folks. He strung together double-digit home runs every season except his last. Now, that's what you call a hitter with an iron will. Plus, let's not forget his switch-hitting wizardry. Murray had a soft spot for the left side, and oh boy, did he light up the field from there. Out of his formidable 504 homers, a staggering 362 flew off his bat from the left side. But then he wasn't a one-trick pony as he did some impressive numbers from his right too. When Murray swung left-handed, he batted an eye-popping 17 points higher than his right-handed game. However, whether on the left or the right, he was a powerhouse that left pitchers scratching their heads. Until today, you can barely count many switch hitters who are as consistent as he was. Our number two switch hitter is a man whose name rings a different type of bell, the controversy bells. 
Pete Rose as a player was truly a handful, but hey, he's a baseball legend with personality to match. Sure, he's famous for his baseball bands and fiery demeanor, but you just can't forget the brilliance he brought to the diamond. Imagine playing in a jaw-dropping 3,562 Major League games and stepping up to the plate 14,053 times, which is more than anyone in the game's history. Plus, he didn't just break Ty Cobb's hit record, he shattered it with 4,256 hits. And trust us, that's a whole lot of hits. This outstanding player just made it look effortless. Now, his batting average might not scream superstar at 303, but you've got to consider the sheer number of at-bats he took. The man was a hitting machine, period. Oh, and Rose wasn't just a hit machine, he was a champion, too. He's got three World Series rings to prove it. Two of the beauties came with the Cincinnati Reds during the 70s when they were known as the Big Red Machine, and he also brought glory to the Philadelphia Phillies in 1980. By the way, the accolades don't stop there. He was the Rookie of the Year in 1963 and the NL MVP in 1973, not to mention those three batting titles and leading the league in runs and hits a whopping four and seven times respectively. These numbers are just unbelievable. Moreover, Rose wasn't just consistent with hits. His splits were as steady as a rock, too. He batted 307 from the left side and 293 from the right. Now, that's some next-level switch hitting talent right there. Sure, this phenomenal player might not have a spot in the Hall of Fame due to his off-the-field controversies, but there's no denying he's one of the greatest switch hitters ever to grace the diamond. When it comes to the greatest switch hitter of all time, Mickey Mantle reigns supreme. Mickey Mantle's journey began in rural Oklahoma. He stepped into the major leagues as a 19-year-old phenom. By the time he hung up his cleats, he was a bona fide legend of the New York Yankees, the darling of the big city. A five-tool player, he could do it all, but he didn't start as the darling of the Yankees. After all, replacing the iconic Joe DiMaggio was a tough assignment. But Mantle was so good that he went on to win over the fans, and they had no choice but to love him. His resume? Well, it's as impressive as a grand slam in the ninth inning. He made it to the All-Star game an incredible 20 times. Oh, yes, you heard that right. And let's not forget the three MVP awards and three runner-up finishes. This guy was in a league of his own. When Mantle called it a day, he had notched up 536 homers, a 298 career batting average, and a dazzling 421 career on-base percentage. Plus, when it came to switch hitters, Mantle was a beast from both sides. Although he was a tad better from the right side where he batted an insane 330, he still hit a solid 280 from the left too. Shockingly though, his power game leaned left. From that side, he crushed 369 homers, averaging .070 homers per at-bat. From the right side, those numbers dropped to 161 homers and .059. From either side, there was always the potential for a home run, whichever way you look at it. And what's even more astonishing is that Mantle's knees gave him some trouble in the later stages of his career. So let's just say he could have been more incredible if his knees had held up. Definitely no doubt about it, Mickey is an absolute baseball legend, and he's the GOAT as far as switch hitters go.